Hello, it's Icy. I'm back with more Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, when we left it last time, we need to come over here to pick up the flower. We will sneak out of here. Like, honestly, that wasn't the best spot to leave my character, but there didn't seem to be any more fireplaces around, so let's just move on, shall we? Um, okay. Oh god, what are they? Are they like bellowbacks or something? What are they? Tramplers. Oh. Can I sneak past them? I've done so much hunting. I don't feel that I need to do, like, keep more or anything. Because, you know, we've done a lot of it. Look, is that more over there? Oh god, there's something over there too. What are they? Too far away. Because, I mean, I'm assuming it watches. Okay, that's fine. Watches are fine. I mean, there's a lot of watches. Honestly, a surprising amount? Okay, how are we going here? Well, that's fine. We just need to sneak past them if we can. I don't really want to have to kill them all. But, I mean, we'll do it if we need to. We can kill the lot if we have to. But I don't know. Aloy's making a really... Can we just go up the hill here? Not too steep? Oh, that looks alright. Aloy's making a big impact on this world. You know, and I'd rather not make too big an impact. Like, she's not doing necessarily... Oh dear, is that hill too steep? Could be... Is there anything up the end of the canyon? No, it's just going to be... Oh, look, we could have come across there. Ah, damn it. All right, fine. Whoa, break up. Easy, easy. Quiet, quiet. Um... Oh, it's wooded. Oh, no, we're just in a little extra section there. Oh, we can probably just go through here. Over the top? Oh, why is it breaking up? Oh, the sun. Here comes the sun. Okay. Oh, have I gone too far? Apparently? Where am I? Oh. Okay, can I, can I get across there? Maybe? Oh dear. I have come the wrong way, haven't I? Can I get up and over? Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, this is a bit confusing. Maybe I should just come in from the bottom. Oh god. Watcha, watcha, watcha. Uh, come down here, maybe. Oh, what else? Oh, Glindhawks. Great. Who we got? Okay, glint hawks and other things. Okay, are we in range? We're in range. Okay, just oh, is that it? Yes. Okay. All right, let's see if we can um, come down on the other side of here. Ah, <sighs> basically the question is, oh god, it's right there. Okay, I'm gonna have to clear out these guys first. Oh god. Okay. Oh, I thought I got it. 
Oh, did nearly. One more. Oh. Okay, good. Oh. No, this should be okay, because he can't really see me here. And hopefully they'll just run away. Yeah, looks like they did. Okay. Sweet. I guess that heals a bit steep. Oh, this music is different! Oh, shh. Oh god, you Oh crap. Oh god. Okay, that's bad. I wasn't expecting that. Come on, get him. Come on, Ally. What is that even? Oh, I dived out of that. Oh, God. Why couldn't I? Okay. For some reason. Oh, go away. For some reason. Oh, I couldn't click the... Where? Who? Where? Oh, God. Also, it's not helpful if this is breaking up. Okay, good. Okay. Oh, well, that was bad. That was really bad. They went and got the Ravager things. That's the first time that's happened. This flower better be worth it. Oh, where's the flower gone? It was right here. Where's the flower gone? There? No? Shh. There. Oh god, it's literally right there. I couldn't see it. Uh. Okay. Sure, why not? <laughs> okay. Slumbered the spring morning and missed the dawn. From everywhere I heard the cry of birds. That night the sound of wind and rain had come. Who knows how many petals then had fallen. Okay. Right then. Right. Right. Well, that didn't go so well, did it? Did it? All right. Um, let's go there. Actually, let's fast travel there. Uh, I need to pick up a bunch of healing potion, uh, like healing stuff, though. That was annoying. I wasn't expecting that. Not at all. Um. Okay. Now what? So I don't think I've got that much more to do, do I? I mean, we're basically at the final section? What do we have to do? Okay, we have quest. Yeah, look, this sun ring looks like a problem. Basically. Pretty sure when I rock up there, we are heading end game, aren't we? Because that's my literally my only quest marker. So do you know what? I think we're going to go for the vantage first, and then we'll come back. Cause, cause yeah, I think we're talking end game. Uh, plus it gives me a chance to stock up a bit on uh, healing potions and things on the way. Lucky these hardy healing. Plants grow everywhere. That's hardy I... little plant. You'll help. Yeah. Will it? I'm not sure if we're really using it, Aloy. 
Oh, I got us a chicken. No, we don't. Oh, it doesn't matter. And also, what's that? Watch a... Uh... Sunfall. The Mad King drowns Summer Palace. A bulwark of Karja might Shoot. against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. Oh, God. That's what I'm hoping. Too many. Too many. And how do I get up? Oh, okay, that's how I get down. How do I get up? Oh, can I get up there? I might be able to get up there. That kind of looks promising. Okay, so I'm on two. Just restocked into three pluses of health. Aloy's butt. Problem with being in stealth when you do this. Can I get this last bit? Come on, Aloy. You can do it. Just. Yep, that's it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can. No, you can't do it. Okay, fine. Let's try another way. Let's try this one. Because I remember coming here, I tried this before, and I felt my death. Uh, maybe a couple of times. Damn dust! <clears throat> oh, I don't even know where I'm going. Wait, is that a walkway up there between the two? No. Oh, look, that looks like a climbing thing. Ugh. Hang on, wait, wait, where was that? Didn't I see a climbing thing just there somewhere? Yeah, just there. There, there, there. Uh, okay, how do I get to there? No, from the other side. Okay, here we go. There? Oh, there it is, there it is. That's my start. There we go. Big jump! Oh, didn't I want to go over there? Yeek. All right. Good. I mean, good. Well, oh shoot! God damn it! Uh oh, crashing. Crap, what are they? Scrappers. Okay, not the worst. And is that the... No, that's a scrapper body. Okay. Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. Yep, that's the vantage. Okay. Did I use too many arrows? Oh, whoops. Possibly. Here. I can look into the past with my focus. Sure can, Aloy. Sure can. Oi! There we go. Oh. No, play the audio. What? Oh, come on. Day 12. Better. As we watch the booster arc up into the night sky, riding a pillar of flame, you took my hand, squeezed it, and said, you have written the story of our family across the stars. Mm. OK, 
Okay. Notebook. Uh, collectible. Vantage. Whoop! Day 12. As we watch the booster arc of the sky. Oh, read that. Text. Hi, Ma. It's the last stop. After this, I'll have said everything I need to. It was just a routine launch, but for us it might have well been Apollo 11. It was my first payload. A secret extractor with an upgraded propulsion system I designed. The vehicle was destined for M89282, an asteroid rich in ruthenium and tungsten. A metallurgic claim, as it happened, a family event through and through. There we stood, in the open air, as night fell, and the stars came up. And of course I was thinking of that night years before, when we watched the Poseides together and talked and dreamed of this very moment. Is it Poseides? I'm not sure. Uh, you were thinking of it too, because when the booster launched as it rose into the sky on its jets of flame, you took my hand and said, You've written the story of our family across the stars. Even then I knew it wasn't true. The vehicle was headed for a rock, not a star. It was a routine launch, not some voyage of discovery. But my heart was too full to quibble. I just smiled and squeezed your hand back. It was the finest moment of my life. You and me, Ma. Onwards and upwards, the start of great things. But after you died, and I broke down, the meaning of that night changed. Everything that seemed wonderful seemed to turn rotten and false. It seemed false, because it was. I'd never written anything across the stars. Sure, I'd hoped to work on a project like that, a deep space probe or a colony ship. But it never happened. And now that my career was over, it never would. And then, when I found out about the plague, the memory of it haunted me even worse. Because it wasn't just me who'd failed to write the story across the stars, you see. It was all of us. Our entire species. All our innovation. All our tech. All our striving. And it came to zero. I've been looking up at the stars a lot, Ma. And the only story I see written across them is that we are small and insignificant and will soon disappear with hardly a trace left behind. It's a hard story. And I don't much like it. So I guess maybe what I've been trying to do these past 12 days is to tell a different story. Not a big story written across the stars, but a tiny one. Written across the humble earth of the only world we ever got to know. I've no reason to think anyone or anything will survive ever to read it. But whatever, but whether that happens or not, the truth of the story remains. Once upon a time, on a planet called Earth, there lived a boy named Bashar, who loved his mother very, very much. Goodbye, Ma. I love you. Bashar Marti, son of Amal and Bayez Marti, stepson of Wyatt Mahanti, 24th of November, 2064. Day 12. As we watched the booster arc up into the night sky, riding a pillar of flame, you took my hand squeezed it and said you have written the story of our family across the stars <sighs> well then that's it isn't it that's it <gasps> whoops Civilization reset. The stories became small. Mm. I had a cough with a hiccup at the end. Mm. Sorry, back in one sec. Okay, sorry about that. Um, all right. Okay. God, here we go. End game. Surely, surely not. I mean, surely we have so much to resolve. And do I need to sneak in here or can I just walk in? Look, I'm, I think I better go in the front. Um, I'm assuming I better follow it. Can I go up here?
do I want to go up here? Am I going to break the story by doing this? Nope. I can't break the story because I'm not allowed in there. Okay. That's fine. Well, I mean, we have a quest marker, I guess, oh, which I forgot about. So I guess we pick up that first. You've seen enough. Move along. These people. I'm too little. You are. You are too little. I never thought I'd feel this bad on such a bright day. Oh, this is. This is terrible. I hear folks keep disappearing in the night. Deserters, if you ask me. Good riddance. She's very pale. Is she unwell? Yes. She's a fighter, but the fever on her won't lift. It only burns hotter. Her name is Shiana, my sister. Isn't there anyone in Sunfall who can help? We're refugees. We know our place. And there's only one healer in the territory. He's... difficult. His soul is in shadow. His soul is in shadow. Galiv. That's him. He's very clever, but he has little care for people. Perhaps the desert scoured it all away. Perhaps he was always like that. Either way, I know he won't help us. Well, I'll see about that. Where would I find him? Last I heard, he was patching up soldiers at Blazon Arch. Another border battle. Shh. We've already lost everything. I'll keep the moon from your brow. Okay, so where's this? Is that no, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. Shh. Activate. Show on map. Oh. Fine. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Um, yeah, so as I was saying before I was coughing myself into a fit, um, yeah, it's interesting, yeah, we never left, hum humanity never left the planet, do, you know, in another thousand, thousand years, will we lift ourselves up again from here, from this spot, in this, in this story, um, I don't know. Such a story. Oh, cool. I missed that this last time. Okay, the Forbidden West. Ah, expeditions into the Forbidden West. Reader, if you would like to know of the Forbidden West, there are none more qualified to be your teller than I, the considerate Uday, healer of Blazon. Why? For yet I live, unlike the outlanders who gasped or shrieked at the tales that follow. Woolhardy blazons and madcaps all. They were brought to me near death, poisoned, mortally wounded, or driven witless by what they experienced in the lands beyond the dawn. With such wounds, it was all I could do to eat their pain and try to make notes from their ranting. Hmm, interesting. Are we talking, like, nuclear? As the sun shines upon me, I cannot vouch for the full truth of these tales. I only hope they will satisfy your curiosity. And turn you from the path that led these imprudent, imprudent explorers and daredevil trekkers to their deaths. Though each count dif it differs, it is certain that the western lands are most unlike our own. Some cross deserts of palest white, others deserts the coloured of fire, or even lim limitless sweeps of blue sand that seem to reflect the sky above, broken only by the remains of ancient machines. 
Others spoke of vast prairies of tall grass, each blade sharp enough to draw blood, dotted with shivering black flowers. Or in incalculable plains of dried mud, cracked like a giant great mo uh, mosaic. At night, unknown animals watch with glowing eyes, and strange birds, all the colours of kites and fireworks, chitter and call out in men's voices. Most extraordinary of all are those thoughts of a lake 100 size times the size of daybreak, so wide the far shores cannot be made out, and so deep that an entire city of the ancient stands ground within. The water is sour to taste and sickening, but is said to rise up and push back against those who attempt to cross. It would seem that dead cities without number have been consumed by the shifting in the west, their skeletal towers mired in seas of sand. The wind is heard to sing low and mournful song through these ruins, or through the skeletons of vast metal birds now fallen, or over great metal bowls filled with the depths of black where fish dart like shooting stars. That song of ruin rising from a hum to a hum still haunted the men and women as they thrashed and sweated in unquiet sleep. But though the western lands are harsh, and even their beauty hides danger, it is not the land alone that swallows up all who venture within that inflicts the brands of wounds suffered by those fortunate enough to return. Oh yes, all have spoken of the new machines in the West, machines more strange and terrible than any found in the Sundom, with their fingernails, dying witnesses that scratched out impossible shapes, or if they still possess several limbs and vocal or organs, mimicked jerking movements and imitated awful sounds, all belonging to the throes of madness. And what manner of men can live where the sun goes at night? These tales were the most chilling. One spoke of drinkers of machine blood, their lips and tongues stained, their teeth laced with metal. Another described youths of palish ash, all wearing the same faces, who hunt silently and tirelessly in the night. Still another told of a tribe seen only from afar, whose folk busied themselves digging deep pits of sand, only to fill them in again for noble reasons, while another tribe was only glimpsed on the waters of the Great Lake, riding dark woods. O oh, son, half of me regret scribing these stories, for they inspire questions that can be answered yet by more doomed expeditions. And yet, I must tell the tale what else remains of the poor of wretched men. If they'd sought riches, they found none to bring back. None save a handful of black silt, a curiously stamped piece of metal, a chunk of desert glass with shifting cube, or an odd smooth shell. I have kept these things hidden to remind me of those who went in search of the forbidden and paid for it dearly. Reader, if you think yourself an adventurer, heed the warning in this old man's collection of strange small things. Go not to the forbidden forest. Okay. Folks keep disappearing in the night. Deserters, if you ask me. Good riddance. Yes, salute me. Don't start thinking you're welcome here. Really? Then you're why did you salute? Tolerant. Come to attention. Take that. Is that you? Are you the healer? No? Where's the healer? Oh, over here. Hi, dude. Not doing. What the hell's wrong with your neck? Are you Galeev, the healer? I had planned to spend the day gazing at the lands of my exile and feeling sorry for myself, but you're not from Sunfall, so this could be interesting. I came from the tent city there. There's a sick girl. Her brother told me about you. The answer is no. What? No, I can't spare the medicine, nor my time to administer it. My resources are already spread thin, thin as the soiled cloths I have to use for dressings. Why what? won't you help? Look at it from my perspective. What meager goods I can get must be smuggled in. That's expensive. The behemoth's share goes to the military. Of course, there are the demands of the citadel. Helis's kestrels are so prone to sticky ends. You seem to be wearing What's well left? Your that's for the nobles, who can pay well for my services. Look at it from my perspective. A little girl is sick. I think we are calling to each other across an ideological impasse. 
What's stopping me from just making you do it? I'd have to cause a situation. And you wouldn't harm the only healer disgraced enough to work for the Shadow Karja, would you? Well, we yes. only just met, but yes, it's tempting. <laughs> and take it up with the Citadel. They decide who lives and dies. Nothing you can do would compare to my punishment if I use the last of my stock on a tent girl. <sighs> You're kind of an ass, healer. There's no cure for a conscience, but in this line of work, I've built up an immunity to it. And yet, if you feel so strongly about this one girl, perhaps we can make a deal. My charity for a Thunderjaw heart. God damn, That's dude. not how charity works. Yeah. It is how deals work. You'd settle my debts for a while. Mm. Those parts aren't exactly easy to come by. As it happens, a thunder jaw prowls the Valley of Omens, I'm north and west of here. Not killing. I know it well because they expect me to put its victims back together. Runaways, mostly. If I do this, it's not for you. Oh, I'm not expecting you to do it at all. But I'll be heading back to the Citadel later. Right. Oh, no, I, I have no words. Honestly, no. Can I just give him the... Oh, really? What? There was a fire there? Ah. Oh. Are you telling me I have... Oh, you... You want me to kill I fear this ceasefire is a the Thunderjaw? Avad's a murderer after all. Are we to take him at his word? You... Uh, that's wrong. Is it, the, is it wrong? The wrong way? Yes. No. You... I got a Thunderjaw heart. Are you telling me I just... Are you telling me I have to do this? Look, I'm gonna pick up the fire first. Then I might just travel to him and see if I can just give him one of the one of the multiple thunder draw hearts I have. Or do I not have any thunder draw hearts? Oh. Okay, no, it's gonna make me kill them. Okay, because I should have whoop, picked up a Thunderjaw heart. If I were too expensive thing taking up slots there, I would have picked up a Thunderjaw heart. But if I had been able to, I've got heaps of things I should just sell. God, okay, fine. Oh, guess, guess we best spend one of these things. So, what are we gonna spend here? Tinker? Removed and reused? Do I care? I don't. Guess we'll take that one. Oh, God. Actually, I guess that's kind of cool. Um, because it means I could swap around. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I guess that's kind of cool because it does mean I could swap around. Uh, swap around stuff as needed. Which I guess is good. Oh, this sucks. I already came over here. Pick up the flower. Got my ass handed to me unexpectedly. And now everything's going to be restocked, enough. probably. Yes. Yes, Amy. Yes, I think you will. Whoop! There's a tree. Oh. I don't want to fight a thunder jaw. Oh, there's some more. Good. And that one. And also, I don't have. Uh, I don't have um, my sidekick 
my hunting person sidekick to help me out. <sighs> this sucks. Alright. Okay, this really sucks. I totally don't want to do this. Kill the Thunder Jewel. Uh, Alright, first things first. Let's go high. Yeah, looks like if I come up here I should be able to go over. Why do I have to kill the Thunderjaw? Also, why do I, that means that Thunderjaw I killed before. <coughs> double, double is useless. Alright. Okay, this is where I was before too. I recognise that structure. In fact, it's basically... Scrabbling a bit. Be quiet, Aloy. Damn it! Where is this freaking thing? Dust storm, not helpful. And hear it. Oh shh. There it is. <sighs> okay. Alright, from here. Here is good, I guess. Here is pretty good. I mean I can just drop off down here. God. Alright, um... Dust feels like it's under my skin. Alright, heart. This launches. Come back here. God, he's going a long way away, isn't he? Alright, this is just going to be one of those slow, 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 painful things as we try and kill the goddamn Thunderjaw. Come on. Nope. Maybe. First strike. Oh, only one component removed. Didn't remove anything? Come back. Come back into range. 
Okay, the trick is though, is definitely to shoot him where he can't see me. Thunderjaw. The cauldrons have taught me enough to override it. Oh, why do I... Why would I want to override it? Okay, good. Basically, if I can step by step... Oh, I think he's seen me. Just stay out of their way for now. Disarm it. Okay, what have we got left? Not much, to be honest. Stay there. Okay, good. A few more bits. Ah, oh, no, I did get his head thing off. That's why he can't see me. Okay, what have we got left? Cannons, power cells. Okay, what do we have left? Heart, power cells. We can. Ah, oh, to electricity and tear. Oh, okay, hang on. The only problem is, I'm pretty sure this doesn't have the same kind of range. That's it. Nothing to see here. Super inaccurate. No, I get that. Just try and tear everything off, I think. See you, Aloy. Uh, let's just make some more ammo. Oh, I'm running out of wire. Actually works quite well, I think. He's looking positively Nicky. Gosh, look at all those bits on the ground. <laughs> okay, what I really need to get yeah, is cannons. I need to take those off. Stay there. Oh, shh. Missed. God damn. Are 
scan. Stay still. Like, seriously, really still. Yes. Okay, what did we get? We got one cannon off. Good. Good, 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 good. If I can get the second one off. Now they're hunting me. Then it'll just make it that much safer. Okay, so what do we got? We've got not much. We've got the heart. We've got some blowy up stuff. We've got one more cannon. We've got his head thing. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, stay there. No, okay, fine. I need you to turn your head around, dude, so I can get it on the other side. Lost interest. Love it. Dude, it's like I've taken off large sections of your body. Okay. Let's try... Let's try a freeze bomb? No, let's try a shock bomb. Just why not? Let's just active, reactivate him. What a waste. Stop me in your head. That would be very helpful. Oh, fine. Okay, I think we're just gonna have to start shooting him for real. Nice. Closer. Come closer. Yep, that's it. Come here. Oh, I got his other cannon. get his head, it'll be a good shot. Alright. They're scanning for me. No, he's not, Aloy. We knocked that bit off. He's fine. He can't find you now. You're perfectly safe here, nominally. We got him halfway down. I love this. Yes. This is really great. Okay, there's the heart. Get it. Okay. Actually. Okay. Now he's really looking for me. That's the shot. Straight in the heart. Okay, now he knows where I am. 
shoot. Stay still. Oh, damn it. Though I think what happens is when I shoot the other bits off, I think that's making it easier for me to hit his heart. Stay still. Oh, damn. Though, this is totally working. Um, what? No, wrong one. Apart from the fact that I'm running out of wire. Actually, I probably can buy? I think I must be able to buy that stuff from a merchant, can't I? God, I love so much being able to load up three arrows. It's the best. He's nearly dead, and I've knocked off basically every single piece of stuff. Oh no, he's still got his head laser cannon thing, doesn't he? I think so. No! Yes, oh no, yes he does. Oh, <gasps> limping away. I almost feel kind of sorry for him now. Okay, yeah, so we still got his head thing. And some freeze canisters and some electric canisters. That's it. Got his heart still. Oh gosh, it's limping. Come on. A little bit, a little bit further out. Take a step. Fine. Or, or I could get a triple going shot down fast. on his head. Okay. Well, that worked. Sweet. Okay. Triple shot in the head. That's the way. Obviously. Yeah, but taking out his little scanning thing, first step. Perfect. That worked really, really well. And yeah, finding a good place to take him on also worked really well. Uh, and that was. Great! That was the least painful Thunderjaw fight in the in in the game, I think. I mean, look, admittedly I've only fought three. Uh, I think he's fooling with this ceasefire nonsense. Thing oh. is forgiven. But that they worked the sun will provide. Well why? I have your machine part. A deal's a deal. See uh -huh. to the girl, and it's yours. On my oath. But tell me. If this girl survives, what do you suppose is her future? It's better than not having a future at all. What a charming notion. Come, come, let's be quick about this. Kindness doesn't keep well in the heat. Eddie, the quicker we find the girl, the sooner we return to the sun. <coughs> it's you. Hello again. I've brought someone to see your sister. How did you... What did we do to deserve... No, wait. I don't even want to ask, in case a shadow passes over and it's gone. Smart boy. She'll have his full attention, won't she? Once I'm freed of other distractions, yes.
well. I think we better save at that point. Uh. What she called. So. Shiana. Oh, are you still gonna talk? Have you got more more information? What she called. Shiana. I knew a Shiana once. She sang in a tavern. How is your sister's singing voice? Uh, she likes ball games. She wants to be a soldier. That's a shame. It's all about him, isn't it? All about him. Gosh. Um, okay. Well, uh, I think, I think, I think, I think that's a good place to call it. Um, okay, so we killed a Thunderjaw, we did the side quest, next time we might be able to do some main quest, here's hoping. Thank you very much for watching, uh, if you have not, please do subscribe to the channel, where, as I'm sure you were aware, there are lots of Let's Plays. Um, if you have not, please also do follow me on Twitch, there are details below, I stream there four days a week, and I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.